Hey there, what's going on everyone? It's your home haunter, HalloweenCrazyZombier.com, and today we have another very special video for the crowd. This is a review over the Jemmy 2011 Pump Pumpkin Hollow Ivana Get Up Witch. Uh, and this particular one is very special because it is uh, basically brand new. As you can see, she still has the bags on her hands. She's fully functional, and she does have her original box here, which is in pretty much mint condition aside from a little dust on the top. Uh, very good shape for 2011, astounding. Uh, and she is basically only tested. She was taken out to test um, from the person I bought her from. Uh, this particular one is probably going to my good friend because it's one of his favorite props, so shout out to him. Uh, but today we're going to be uh, giving you an overview on the prop itself, the box, and a little bit of history behind the item. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first we're going to start off with the box. Uh, this, is the front of this is the very front of the box, and we will read everything off. At the top here you have your nice pumpkin hollow trademark logo here in the moon. Uh, the box itself is, or the main parts of the box, is like a dark ocean midnight blue. It says Ivana Get Up Witch at the top. Rises up from the ground, as you can see there. Very nice illustration of the prop. All the prop pictures have really, or all the pictures of the prop, all the graphics on the box are in astounding condition. Uh, no white marks whatsoever. Uh, rises up from the ground, eyes light up, says funny phrases, sound and motion activated, and then net uh, net quantity one piece. So one, or that just indicates that one of the animatronic came in the said box. So going to uh, it, the box's right side from the front, we have a little crease here, but nothing big at all. Uh, we have the Pumpkin Hollow logo again, and then a Ivana Get Up Witch name here in a really nice font. I'm a really big fan of that font, actually. Then the back here, says I've or a pumpkin hollow trademark again that says or it has that moon and pumpkin hollow logo on each side just like the side it says Ivana get up witch but at the bottom here uh you have uh the recycling logo a couple white marks nothing big at all um no serious dentage either but it says 2011 distributed by uh Menard Men uh can't talk Menard Inc um and then it gives the headquarters address and whatnot and that's the skew uh, made in China. Uh, this is back when uh, a lot of props had instructions on the back of the box, which is very nice. Uh, and it has the power requirements there. It takes a basic Jemmy adapter for life sizes, 9 volt, 2 amp. Then we go to the left side. We have a little dent there, but nothing big at all. Again, just the same as the right. And then back to the front. This particular Ivana Get Up Witch comes with the original adapter, original adapter box, original instructions, which are in pristine condition, and are all original packing material, including all the cardboard inserts. So let's get to the animatronic. Okay, well now looking at the item, we'll start from top to bottom. Sorry for the wood stove in the background, but you know, kind of gives it a cabiny theme, which is appropriate for witches, but the hat is sort of a poseable cloth with foam in it. It's a little bit squishy, you can pose it. With also a fabric belt buckle, which isn't really poseable, it's just a fabric. And the hat doesn't have any wire in it, yet it is still poseable due, uh, due to the foam in it. The hat and the hair are one piece. They come together and they Velcro, uh, and they just Velcro to the head. You can Velcro the hat to the head uh, for shipping and storage and whatnot. The head turns, also lifts up and down. The mouth moves, as you can see, the eyes light up. Uh, the mouth, when you move the mouth, the eyes light up. So there's a, a generator in there, basically, to generate the power to the eyes when you move the mouth. Um, and you can do that while she's not plugged in, fun fact, due to the generator. When you move the mouth, it moves the spindle, which conducts electricity to the eyes. Believe me, I'm not damaging it by doing that. Uh, the face is a silicone, which is very nice. I do like that. Very clean, too. Uh, the head moves freely, completely. No split gears in there whatsoever. 
Uh, her, she has a scarf here, which consists of spider webs and spiders, which is just a basic kind of see-through cloth. The hair is gray. It's in, it's not really knotted at all. It's very, uh, it's very light hair, just very gray, shiny, white, gray hair. Then as for her body cloth, it's sort of see-through. That's one thing I don't like, but in the dark, I mean, I do have a window kind of behind me. So that's why you can kind of see through it and in it. But in like a little bit of a darker setting, this is a very bright setting, but in a darker setting, you wouldn't know the difference. The mechanism to pick her up is um, sort of a dual scissor mech powered by a motor to actually bring her up. So that's very cool. I, I really like how they did that mechanism. Um, the cloth is con uh, is connected to the base, so you can't really lift it up, although you can access it from the neck if you really want to get to the mechanism. The sensor here is on the front, and it is very, very sensitive. Very sensitive. Jemmy did a great job with that sensor. I do wish it was a little higher because I feel like if you put her in the grass, grass is much taller than this, so the grass might cover that sensor. Just, just an idea. The hands are still in the bag, and I won't be taking the bag off for uh, resale sake, but the hands are sort of, they're not poseable, but they're, I don't wanna call them squishy either. They're malleable, I guess you can say. Uh, plastic hands, which are very detailed. She has no wire support in her arms, so you can twist them, bend them, however you want. You can put them all the way out here, but I prefer them in close. Um, same with the other hand, it's the exact same for the most part. She also has cuffs on her hands that consist of the same material as the neckerchief here. But uh, I think that's everything to cover in the front. Let's move to the back and I'll show you guys the module. So this is the back of her, which, um, really, <laughs> which really doesn't have anything too special to it, aside from the module here. I do want to point out, you can take the cloth off by cutting that little zip tie right there. I don't recommend it. It's a very long zip tie to go around the whole base. But you have the module here. The module consists of an off and, uh, off and sensor toggle switch here. When she's switched in the off position, she will not do anything. Uh, only if you plug a trimy in and press on the trimy, she will only go off. Sensor, she will use her sensors to act or to activate by motion. Uh, she's powered by a six volt, two amp uh, adapter there, and that's the jack for it. And then you have your try me jack. And that is basically it for the module. Very simple and small, but I kind of like that. It's very compact. So uh, I think it's time to plug her in and give you guys a demo. So let's get to it. 